What's going on guys, Iggy Fresh here, back with the new LS video for our episode. Welcome back everyone. We are officially back recording new episodes for you guys and I'm really excited to be back and just one word of advice, do not move guys. It's it's a big pain. It's a pain. I it, Even to this point right now, I don't even have internet. So, uh, but let's not get into what, the, you know, at the, at the very least I could record for you guys, but I can't really upload anything. Oh my. You guys hearing these gunshots? Let's go. Let's go. I'll talk about the car in a little bit. Um, whoa, this thing is crazy fast. All right, I definitely heard gunshots right over here. I see person running. Is he the one with the weapon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Drop the gun. Drop the gun, dude. I'm not going to tell you. Shots fired, shots fired. Suspect is down. Oh, my gosh. He shot at me. What the hell was he doing? Who is he shooting at? Hold on, let me move my vehicle. This is crazy. We'll call EMS to uh, try and assist them. And uh, yeah, I think... Um, <laughs> what a crazy way to start off today's episode. And yeah, I'm definitely happy to be back, guys. I missed all of you. And hopefully we still have the regulars. Come say hi in the comment section down below. I just want to see what the hell you were shooting at. I don't see anything here. Anything on this side? No. Let's do a quick circle around this uh, building. Make sure nobody's hiding. Oh, there we go. Alright, anyway, we have EMS coming. I don't know, this guy was just a, a crazy. Maybe shooting at the house. Maybe he knew somebody inside the house. Who knows? Lots of crazy things happen around here. Anybody home? I don't know, man. Alright, so, uh, yeah, he's down. And, uh, yeah, let's quickly talk about this car, man. Just found it on the GTA 5 Mods website, and this thing is amazing. Can we go first person? Uh, we do have the sunglasses in the way, but this thing is awesome. This is W Motors Super Sport, and I never even knew these cars existed. They have suicide doors, which means they open the, uh, the other way. Look at that. They open backwards kind of like super cool I really like that and also the lights it's a slick top we do have lights in the windshield we have the camera over there we have the lights in the front grill and we also have lights out back and this th this thing is crazy fast it has an automatic spoiler and it, it's just amazing we will be testing out the top speed at the end of today's episode but as you guys could already tell this thing is crazy fast so, my guess for the top speed is going to be 220. I really think so. We'll take it to our uh, track, our test track, and we'll test it out there. But unfortunately, this guy did not make it. Yeah. Let me go ahead and call corner. There we go. They're going to be in route to help him out, pick up his body. But, uh, yeah, crazy things happen here. In the middle of my intro, I heard gunshots, and uh, we just had to respond. It was not even a call, it was like one of those ambient events. But anyway, we do have corner in route. Oh, they're right over here. And looks like my job here is done. Let's get out of here. Gosh, crazy's over there. Well, listen to the exhaust really quick. I just want to show you guys how it sounds. This thing is really cool, really nice. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue with today's episode. We'll see what kind of stuff we can get into. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know. <laughs> Did you guys see that spoiler flicking back and forth? It's kind of cool when you're breaking. Whoa! I'm not a psycho. But anyways, guys, let me know how your weekend was. Uh, once again, I apologize. We couldn't do a premiere episode because I was in the middle of my move, you know, moving to a new place, trying to set everything up. Still don't have internet, which is kind of a pain, but, um, you know, it is what it is. But I definitely did miss you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Let me know how your weekend was. And uh, yeah, let's see what other calls we can get today. All right, guys, we are getting our first call for a customer refusing to pay. All right, let's respond. Establishment owner calls what? Oh my gosh, that was way too quick. All right, let's respond code three. 
Let's see if we can assist, maybe get some more details once we get on to the location. But yeah, guys, I've been getting a lot of um, errors for whatever reason. I'm thinking because I'm playing offline and some of the uh, scripts and some of the plugins have to communicate with online and I'm getting all kinds of errors. It's either that or I need to update my game as well. So I um, may need to do that as soon as I get internet. I hope that's not gonna impact our recording schedule. But uh, anyway, so far it's, uh, whoa, it's working out. <laughs> but anyway, where is this place? Oh, it's gonna be on the pier. Excuse me, guy. There we go. Damn, this thing is so fast. They just touched the throttle and it's flying. All right, we are on location, I think. Relax, dude. All right. Where's the customer? Is that the customer? Let's go ahead and talk to him really quick. Suspect, finally, an officer. I'm assuming that's the suspect. Officer, they broke the law because my food tasted awful. They're now trying to force me to pay for the rotten stuff. Tell them they can't make me. Okay, what does the guy say? You. Do you have proof of this hair? Oh, okay, there was hair in this food. Yes! Shows a picture of hair in his food. Okay. Okay, I mean, if there was a picture evidence, you know, there was hair in this food. He didn't eat it. He doesn't want it. Okay, so we'll let him go. Thanks, officer. You've been great. All right, we are code four. I'll never be coming back here again. Oh my gosh, just a routine, <laughs> routine hey, I call, I guess. This is okay? interesting, man. Hey, and I was rushing here, code three, with my lights and siren on. And I think we're all set. Excuse me, guys. All right, let's get out of here and see what other calls we can get today. Um, I'm hoping we can do a bunch more before the game continues to crash and if it is you know, we might be okay for now but uh, yeah let's see what other calls we can get today dispatch calling unit one lincoln 18 citizens reporting a DUI getting a call for a Delta. driver under the influence and this lady decides to you know cross the street here anyway let's go ahead and respond all right citizens have reported this drunk driver right here Oh my gosh, just passing people left and right. Let's go ahead and activate the siren. I'm going to try and uh, pull him over now. I think he might be running. What are you doing, dude? He's all over the place. Pull over. Pull over right now, dude. All right, here we go. We got him. We got him. Let's uh, have him stop. And I think the crashes are kind of went away now. Even though it's still the game is acting a little weird. But we'll find out what's going on with this guy. Let me go ahead and quickly run the play check on this vehicle. What do you guys think about this a W Motor Super Car? Target license plate. I think it's super Six, awesome. Zero, ocean, X-ray, Union, seven, All right, no four, flags four, on this car. No, Can I get out? And look at that. Nobody's going to rip my door open because it opens the wrong way. I'm or, I don't know. Let's approach the suspect, see what's going on. How's it going, Officer Iggy Fresh? Hello. Reason for the stop is we got some concerned citizens um, telling me that you're driving impaired, and also I witnessed you pass the the other vehicle incorrectly, improperly, and uh, yeah. So Give let's one. see that driver's license, proof of insurance, registration. This is Dimitri Cooper. Okay. All right. Can we question him? Have you been drinking? I don't think so. At least <laughs> that's a good answer. All right. Have you taken any drugs? Okay, he doesn't want to answer that. All right, hang tight for me, okay? All right, let's go ahead and run his uh, name in the database, his vehicle, all of that good stuff, and then we'll do a breathalyzer test on this guy. Here we go. All right, let's look him up. All right. He is good. His license is valid. He's not wanted, and he's got a gun permit. Okay. Got to be careful with this guy. All right, for the vehicle. Okay, everything is valid. It's not stolen. Everything checks out. Okay. He doesn't have any previous citations either, which is kind of cool. So let me go ahead and approach him, and uh, we'll do a quick breathalyzer test on him. If he passes, we'll just give him a warning and ask him to drive safe. But, um, okay, let's actually do the breathalyzer test right now. All right, sir. 
just gonna breathalyze you really quick. We're waiting for the breathalyzer result. He failed to provide a breath sample. Seriously? Come on, let's try it again. I hate that. No, one more time. Dude, he's gotta be. He's gotta be over the limit. Okay. Alright, how about drug laser test kit? Maybe he's intoxicated on drugs. Usually, if you fail to provide a breath sample three times, it's it's not good. Let me ask him to step out of the vehicle for a second, okay? Is he swaying? Seems to be okay. Alright, so you're lucky. I cannot determine if you've been drinking or not. So we're going to give you a warning today, Go okay? On, you you got off Get easy. Out of here. Get out of here, sir. Wow. Crazy. I think some police officers will probably put you under arrest for failure to provide a breath sample, but, uh, you know, could have been my equipment that was uh, malfunctioning. Who knows, but either way, guys, I think it's time for us to do our top speed run. What do you guys think? We are code four. No further units required. Okay, we are code four. Thank you. But yeah, guys, I think it's time for us to do our top speed run. I'm guessing the top speed is going to be 220 miles per hour. Leave your guesses in the comment section down below. And let's go to the test track and test it out right now. All right, guys, we are ready to do this. Let's go. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, over 100, 120, 140, 150. This thing is flying 200 miles per hour. It's still climbing 220, 240. We're still going. This is not even modded with the trainer. 280, 290, and we're still climbing. Oh, my gosh. We're going to try and... And maximize it with the trainer after this run but 320 miles per hour we're still climbing this is absolutely crazy 333 335 336 we beat the top speed record on this track 340 we're still going this is absolutely insane this is one of the faster cars i've driven on this channel 352 and we're still going 355 i'm gonna try and use the trainer to maximize it even more and see how much faster it can go but this is crazy 360 and it's still climbing this was me installing the car and just maximizing the the engine the suspension the transmission and that's it and it's pushing 364 365 miles per hour we're approaching the end of the runway. This is absolutely crazy. 365 miles per hour is the top speed of this vehicle. If you guys guessed it, great job. But now it's time for us to maximize it with the trainer and see if we can beat 400, maybe 500 miles per hour with this thing. What do you guys think? Let's give it a try. All right, guys, so I didn't want to go too crazy on the uh, the mods over here. So I did conservatively up the uh, performance a little bit. So let's see what it's going to be now. This thing is flying over 400 miles per hour, approaching 500. It's going to be really tough to keep it on the track. 600. Still going. Oh, my gosh. This has got to be the faster, the fastest vehicle I've driven here. 660 still flying approaching 700 miles per hour the test track is running out so quickly 739 741 miles per hour oh my gosh the track's about to be over three 745 750 and oh my god <laughs> that was great that was absolutely insane. If you guys guessed the top speed, great job. But on this note, I'm going to end today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.